Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, Beaky here with the Untitled Game Show, back once again with a quick little video for you guys today. And my discussion topic is Destiny and what can games like The Division and Deep Below learn from the launch of this game and the small mistakes that Destiny made over the course of its life. Now, Destiny is a perfectly okay game in the long run. It's a good game. You could say it's a 6 when they first came out and they moved on up to maybe a 7. Some people still think it's an absolutely horrible game. Some people think it's a 9 out of 10. Whatever your opinions of the game doesn't really affect this conversation. What I'm trying to say is a small mistake that annoyed many gamers in the aspect of it being an MMO. What can Capcom and what can Ubisoft learn from this with their upcoming games that are going to be heavily focused on being online only games because The Division is an online only multiplayer game. The first thing first guys, the word massive multiplayer game. Okay, for Destiny, a thing that did annoy me very much was the fire team of limited to three for the campaign missions and six people for the later missions for raids and going forward for the multiplayer as well. Six people didn't feel very massive to me at any time and then there were 15 people in the tower. I'm hoping for the division with these next generation platforms you could get a lot more people on the map. I definitely do know this is possible because games like Mag that came out on the PlayStation 3 had a bunch of people in the map and you were actually able to see all these people in together. So it is possible for these new generation to have a lot of people on the map and all working together so I hope that these two games will take from what has been done in the past and learn from Destiny's mistake of not really trying to be a real massive multiplayer game and actually put that massive in the multiplayer. The next topic I want to talk about is the upgrade system. So Destiny's upgrade system overall there's nothing wrong with it but the problem that comes along with the system is the items required to upgrade in your weapons and your armor. In Destiny, you have to go and find Spirit Boom, Relic Iron, and all these little upgrade materials that you need to additional, on top of the XP, you need to upgrade your equipment. This wouldn't have been a problem if from the beginning of the game, you were able to go to a store and change some type of credit, Vanguard Marks, which is what you use now, or Crucible Marks, for these items. The way they had it in the game before is that you had to go out and search all over the area, press circle, wait till you equipped it into your inventory, and move from the next area and next area until these things kept on respawning. Now this is a something that MMOs have done in the past, going back into the early 2000s, but MMOs have evolved a long way. For upgrading, it makes no sense to waste players time by doing this, it'd be perfectly fine in the division, and in deep down, if they have an upgrade system similar, make sure to be able to players to not waste your time to be able to go to shop, use the money, the currency, make their economy, either buy from other players, buy from other NPCs, and purchase these upgrade equipments right away. Destiny has fixed this problem, but this was a problem with the launch of the game. Now, another problem that Destiny was able to handle very well, except for the first two hours the game went online, was at early on in the morning, they did get attacked by a DOS attack, and they were offline for about an hour or two hours before we could jump right into the game, for me personally. After that, they were able to fix the system, they would get back online for the rest of the day. I'm hoping that... Ubisoft and Capcom learned from this that they might get attacked the moment the games go online from DOSS attacks and on the fact that many users will be trying to sign into the game very heavily on the night that it goes out and that they will be ready for the influx of new users and make sure their online servers are ready to handle all these players at once so people can have a smooth transition into jumping this game. Division, I definitely do looking forward to try this out. Deep below, I definitely am want to see what that's about. It's very much intriguing to me, and I'm hoping that the mechanics for that game are very well prepared to have a lot of people hitting those servers. That's just me personally, alright guys? Another problem that I think Destiny personally had was actually getting around. So the fact that you had to get so many loading screens, you had to go from Earth to orbit to another area on Earth. So that's basically you load to Earth, then you have another cutscene to go back to another area on the same planet. If they're going to have us move from different areas to areas, they better have a fast travel system, especially for something like the Division, where it's all supposed to be one big map. They should have a, some type of fast travel system. And I'm pretty sure because it's a Ubisoft game, you're going to be able to find towers or something that's going to make you be able to zip around the map. Or maybe some type of vehicle. I'm not too sure if the vehicles in the Division still work. But if they do, I definitely hope there is some type of fast travel system to get around the area quite quickly. Even all the MMOs had an easy way to move from area to area. And if... Anything like <laughs> Destiny with the loading screens, please 
make sure your loading screens are not too long and don't make them just there for decoration because just to see the ship because that really did annoy me that the ships didn't currently do anything the next thing i do know that the division has and i'm not too sure about deep below deep below deep down whatever it's called there's a loot system in the division there's rare items and all that stuff i'm hoping the way it works when you're playing with your friends is that everybody could get at least not the same item but equal value so let's say if you go to a chest and the chest opens up it'd be nice if both people get items similar to each other if you do a hard raid you know it'd be nice if both players get something similar in value to each other my biggest problem with the destiny raid is me and six other people go through the raid one person gets the legendary item, the rest of us get shards unless us get something they might already have or something completely useless like a legendary ship it would be nice if in the way it worked is if one person got a legendary gun, everybody else got some type of legendary gun. It doesn't have to be the same one, but a legendary weapon in that same class, armor, or whatever it might be. To make sure that everybody feels like they all did something together. Because a few times I've went through the raid and I came out feeling like, oh man, I really just got a legendary ship and that's really what I got guys. And getting a legendary ship is not really what I want from the raid guys. Now I'm hoping I'll be able to get something better when I play the Division and the Capcom's MMO. Now, there's a lot of other little issues with Destiny, but many of it's been fixed since the game has come out, and I'm hoping that these online massive multiplayer type games that are trying to come to consoles, Xbox One, and on the PS4 are going to learn from the mistakes at the launch of this game. I'm hoping that they come out good. I definitely will be checking them out because I always have said this before. I love playing games with other people. It's my biggest thing to do, especially for co-op type game where we could cooperate together and complete a hard objective. I would love for that to happen. Now, the last thing I'm going to touch on is story. And I'm not going to go too deep into this because I do not know how the division exactly is going to deliver its story. And I do not know how Capcom is going to deliver their story in their game. Only thing I know about the division is that there's not going to really be like a separate campaign mode. But the story is going to be taking place as you meet characters in the game and they give you a little tidbit of story. There's not going to be kind of like quests like you would traditionally think about it. The only thing I'll add to this though is that. Ubisoft has been really good at delivering the story and actually showing you cutscenes for their third person multiplayer games. So I do definitely think that Ubisoft probably has one of the best opportunities to bring a story into a game world like this, especially if you put the brand name of Tom Clancy on it. So Tom Clancy is a name that means something. I know he's passed away, but I still feel like that brand name means something. And I'm hoping that Ubisoft does not do an injustice to Tom Clancy by tarnishing his name with the making a bad game i think most of the tom clancy games have come over the last few years have been pretty good i think there's even been a one called n wars uh, something with n it was a playing game and i played that one even i thought that was a pretty decent game as well for capcom capcom is a mixed bag sometimes they're great with stories sometimes they're bad we're just gonna have to wait and see on that one all right guys but this has been Beaky with the Untitled Game Show.com. I'm hoping these companies can learn from the mistakes of past games like Destiny and other games that have multiplayer experience over in 2014 and come out to be a little better. So thank you guys for watching. Show your own opinions in the comment section below. Like I said, guys, this is just my opinion piece on the subject. Destiny is a good game for some people. Some good people is a horrible game. I personally deleted it off my hard drive. But I do think there's lots to learn from this game, and I do think there is something to come from a Destiny 2. It's not one of the worst games put out in 2014, but it ain't the best game in 2014. That's just my view on the game. Peace out, guys.